I've been unlocking a couple of achievements on Steam. To continue growing my achievement collection, I committed tax evasion in a video game. Don't come after me, IRS. Turnip Boy commits tax evasion, has a total of 37 achievements, and takes on average 4 hours to complete. But the first step is to complete the story. We start off by receiving a tax bill that if we don't pay, our house will become property of Mayor Onion. So I rip it in half. Since we don't have any money, the onion makes me his personal assistant, and my first task is to go to a farm and get him some fertilizer. I also check my mailbox and get a hat. Is that a fucking hat? And steal a watering can from the old man lemon. But the farm is full of animals, and in this world, they're the bad guys. I mean, they literally eat the vegetables, so I have to kill them. Since I need a weapon, I go deep into one of the forests and find a plant that after being watered, grows a soil sword. Now at the barn, this Twitch streamer only will let me in if I become a tier 3 sub. She also said to like and subscribe, something you should do, ha ha ha. Since I'm not a simp, I look around for a bit and find this gold trophy. And I find Belch, who is willing to gift a tier 3 sub, a 3 tier subway sandwich. She gives me an autograph, which I rip immediately. Inside the barn, I kill some animals and get some new Yeezys. Those are still trendy, right? I finally reach the last room, and this pig is eating some of the fertilizer, which makes him grow into a massive pig. I blew him up a couple of times, made some bacon, and I also grew my first heart fruit. They give you more hearts. They're pretty self-explanatory. I give the mayor his fertilizer, and now he wants me to get him a four-pronged spear, also known as a fork. So my next destination is the Forsaken Farmhouse, haunted by moldy sweets. To enter the farmhouse, I needed a stool, so I found this baby carrot in a trash can, and and gave it to the babysitter who lost it. Inside the haunted place, I find this secret society who wants me to complete some quests for them. First, I help the nurse by giving her a face mask, a band-aid, and medicine. She also heals me by kissing. Uh, kinda weird, but I'll take what I can get. Next, I find this lost cherry baby and give him back to his mother. The last task is to restore Matt's generator, but to get to the room, I have to beat the next boss, Apple Cat. I also blew him up and got a lost cat apple to return to its owner. I restored the generator and Matt gives me the fork. Next on the mayor's shopping list is green goo, but before that, I returned the Apple Cat to this lady and ripped her waifu drawing. As I make my way through the Forgotten Forest, I discover the power of plant portals, and I have to help Annie, the avocado. She wants me to retrieve some stuff, so I have to kill some deer, also known as the dumbest animal on earth. Oh my god! First, I get her a mural doodle, then a dead turnip that might be my long lost son, and now we discover that the goo brings stuff to life. So after chatting with the local acorn meth addicts, I find the next boss fight, a drugged deer. Seriously, these animals are just so dumb. This boss fight also had like a portal and bomb puzzle to defeat him quickly, but I just couldn't be asked to think, so I just spam attacked him. Anyway, I gather some goo off camera and Annie gives me a hat for helping her. The last item the mayor wants is a laser pointer that's inside a bunker in Weapon Woods. But to open the bunker, we need a shovel. So after helping Tots, he gives me one. And by helping, I mean digging up some graves. So not only have I evaded taxes, I am now a grave robber. This game just keeps getting better. So I rob a rich man's grave and get a shovel. So the bunker is probably the hardest of the boss areas just because of how annoying the enemies are, but the boss fight itself is just a bit confusing. Uh. I still don't know how you're supposed to fight this thing. Somehow I was able to beat this child in hand-to-hand -hand combat and got the laser pointer. Well, now we should get our house back, right? <laughs> Yeah, turns out Mayor Onion betrays us because there is a massive mafia base under the house which belonged to Turnip's dad, Onion, and the old Lemon. Even after stealing his watering can though, Lemon lets me use his old base entrance behind his tree. And so after struggling with kid puzzles inside the base, it's time to fight the mayor in an epic final boss fight. Yeah, he was, uh, he was pretty easy to beat. After beating him, I got the deed to my house, but who cares about the house, I'll just rip it in half. After beating the mayor once, if I rip every document in the game, the player unlocks another boss fight against the mayor, which is the game's true ending. So first, I water the florist's flowers and give it to his love interest. She gives us a love letter and we rip it. Next, I rip a wanted poster. Then I kill Jerry the snail and rip his rent pay. Then I rip this receipt inside a trash can and rip this guy's work document. I ripped Matt's draft letter and his MIA notice. After helping Belch, he gives us a computer software book. I also found this vandalized wanted poster and well, I found this girl's lost phone and then she asked to sign a petition, but I ripped it. I also changed her phone's password. I found this estate agent a new client, so I gave the deed to the acorn, but it asked me how to read it, so I just ripped it. Also while robbing the graves with tots, I found a letter to a dead person and ripped it. Inside the bunker, there were three more documents to be ripped, a hazard information sheet, an old newspaper, and the monster girl's diary. 
Then inside the Mafia base, I ripped a book and a letter from my own dad that I didn't even read. Now we have three documents left and I returned to the barn house and ripped the tax book. Next to the farmhouse, I ripped another receipt. Then I returned to the bunker to rip the layers of an onion. So after ripping every document in the game, if you fight the mayor again, when you beat him, he drops a nuke on you and transcends into God Onion. So to defeat him, we have to throw the IRS at him so he blows up. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> anyway, we beat him. Now the story is finally complete, so I go to the Mafia base and find the nuke and kill myself. Then I start the quest to find all the hats in the game. After helping the florist, he gives us a sun hat. The streamer gave the crown for defeating the giant pig. I find some wood dealers and give the wood to the workers, so he gives me a hard hat. Yeah, wood and hard shouldn't be in the same sentence. I also dig up this top hat. Over in the crag den, this shady guy gives me a hammer, so I give it to the pickle gang and they escape, but they leave me a fedora. At the graveyard again, and Tots gives me a letter. I give the letter to his father. Then Tots gave me a bird hat, but I forgot to record that actually. Second to last are the scissors. I find some blue hair dye, give it to the barber, and he makes me go bald. And finally, I talk to Pops again and get a farmer hat. Next up, I grew all the heart fruits left to max out my HP. And the last three achievements are on the Limitless Train. Basically, it has infinite carts, and after each boss, you gain a power, the maximum being four powers. First, I beat the giant pig, then the apple cat, and then I die for an achievement. Then on my next run, I beat the drugged deer and the conductor. Then after dying a couple of times to the secret boss, I saw this guy on YouTube beat it and realized how easy he actually is. And that's every achievement in Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. I completed it in three hours and legit had a lot of fun with the game. I highly recommend it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.